That one's driven to center field and deep. Yastrzemski back, still back, on the track, at the wall. See ya! He picks up where he left off. A home run for Judge. one nothing Yanks. When he tries to run it in on your hands, you got to get underneath it, get some backspin, and carry it out to center field. Is it, is it that easy? Strike three. Conforto down looking. Strike three. Flores down looking. But he has one now. 11 strikeouts for Cole. Six shutout innings for the Yankee ace. And he got him. Got him. Third time. Got him. 11 strikeouts for Logan Webb. Got him. The 2 0. He swings and drives it to deep right field. Verdugo going back. He's on the track. He's looking up. And this one is out of here. It's a home run for Adley Rutschman. Adley gets the year started in a way that he could have only hoped for. This one's to third. Devers. Oh, Devers booted it. Official scoring decision pending. Oh, it's a hit. Oh, it's a hit. That is a five hit opening day for Adley Rutschman. Devers at second, Turner on at first. Dive and a miss there by Frazier. That's into the outfield. Rounding, here comes Devers. He will score. It's Turner down to third, and that'll make it eight to three. And Yoshida with his first Red Sox hit moments after Turner had collected his. He's Whoa. out. No Ooh. way. A pitch clock violation. Wow, a violation. He is out at oh, home. God. That is strike three. Oh. How about that? So we see that here on opening day. I think Rafi can believe it. Uh -oh. We've got a uh, pitch clock violation on Marcus. There you go. First one of the year. The lanky right hander from DeLand, Florida. And a, a pedigree and a reputation that precedes him. The 0 2 got him swinging. 1 2. And he got him. Stott strikes out. That's seven punch outs. Ooh, this ball hit high in the air. Deep out to right field. Does it have enough? It's gone! And Robbie Grossman has tied the game in the fourth inning. Smith, Simeon, and Seeger, third to first, and a little tapper out in front of the plate. Soto dives, throws to first, under the plate rather not in time. Smith is in there, and the Rangers have their first lead. And more called strikes than usual. Oh, he swings and misses, but he goes to the backstop. And coming in to score from third, Simeon. The Rangers out a run, and it is seven to five. And the 2-2, Garcia shoots it out to right field. Back on it is Castellanos. It's over his head. Two more runs have scored. Garcia to second. He is out at second base. Apparently overslid the bag. It's a nine run fourth inning. It ends on that play, but the Rangers have opened it up at home. And Cave lifts this one deep to center field. Thompson back near the wall. He'll reach and make the catch. Right at the fence. And takes away a home run from Jake Cave. The pitch. Walker lines it into center. His first major league hit. His first at bat. And he singles off Alec Manoa here on March 30th, 2023. Welcome to the show. And this one to shallow left center. Dropping in to score is Merrifield. Kiermaier all the way around to third. In the air to center field. This is plenty deep enough. The catch made by O'Neill. Here comes Kiermaier, and the Blue Jays have taken the lead. Playing the infield right now. There's a call third strike. Dropped it right at the knees. And three no hit innings for Pablo Lopez in his Twins debut. Got him to chase a fastball off the plate, one away. 6 2 right hander Dylan Cease. Whew. Yeah. 97 and up. So now an RBI opportunity for Alvarez. Swing and a miss. Dylan Cease picks up strikeout number two. It's rhythm, baby. Cease is That's right. Rhythm. It's hard to 
Come get him right now. Pedro Grafal signals to the bullpen. Dylan Cease, if this were Chicago, would get a massive standing ovation. But Cease joins Logan Webb and Garrett Cole with opening day 10 strikeout games. Oscar making his major league debut. Left-hand batter waits on a 2-0. And he whacks one on the ground into center for a base hit. That was a comeback single. We'll check the exit velocity. <laughs> he hit it hard, I can tell you that. And he's got his first major league hit in his major league debut. For Vaughn again. Vaughn over the head of Pena. That's going to bring in Anderson, and it's going all the way to the wall. Robert will touch third. He'll be waved in. And Andrew Vaughn delivers two with the shot single to the wall. Crow drives this to deep left field, and this one is gone. Three-run jack for C.J. Crow, and the Rockies are on top, four to two. Well, he did exactly what you described. He was able to stay back. So it's an 81 mile an hour changeup for C.J. And this ball is hit well to right field. And how well home run the other way for Crone. Make it six to two. Just over the outstretched glove of David Dahl. So what an opening day performance for C.J. Crone. Dots the outside corner with a fastball. It's strike three call. There's the first strikeout. Swing and a miss, strike three. Shohei Otani for Shohei. Swing and a miss, strike three. A 10 strikeout opening act in 2023 for Shohei Otani. High fly ball to right from Peterson. Hit well. Renfro got turned around and somehow still made the catch. What was that? Hunter Renfro, kind of a no look catch. He went over to Kevin Mitchell, but this time he used a glove instead of the bare head. And he's still smiling, so is Shohei. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this play. He's throwing the glove out just in case. <laughs> Tied to right field, chasing Brennan back. Look it up! It's gone! Ty France gives the Mariners a 3 nothing lead. Yes, Well, that's the big hit they needed. For Ty, that's his third hit in the ball game. Please welcome your skipper who led the team to a World Series championship last year. He's fixing to get his first World Series ring in his Hall of Fame career, the one and only Dusty Baker. Without further ado, First off, please welcome your 2022 World Series MVP, shortstop Jeremy Pena. Second baseman, Jose Abdubi. Designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. So the Astros receiving the hardware that every major league player would love to get. Astros and White Sox coming up on a special night here at Minute Maid Park. This one is lined just beyond the reach of Sosa in the left. That gets Smith home. Seager stops at third. It's an opposite field RBI single for Travis Jankowski in his first at bat as a Texas Ranger. And the home team is up here now 16 to 3. And a 1 2 from Alex Cobb. He has his first major league hit. Anthony Volpe's first hit in the big leagues is a single to left field off Alex Cobb. Shintaro Fujinami making his major league debut. Swing and a miss. He struck you back. Swing and a miss. Struck you back. The 1 2 pitch on the way. And he struck you back. Splitter, and that's four strikeouts for Fuji through the first two innings. He's been good so far early. Been very effective. High drive to left from Taylor Ward. Brown is back. That ball is gone. Taylor Ward has the first home run of the year for the Angels. It is an 11 run top of the third. 
And the Halos just obliterating Oakland pitching. Like that. Back it goes. God. And the Red Sox are right back in this baby. That makes it seven to five. Rep Snyder, the base oh. runner. Swing and drive. Oh. This one deep. Oh. Marks the spot. Xander Bogart's first home run in a Padres uniform. Welcome to San Diego, Xander Bogart. 4C fastball. I tell you what, that is right in the hot zone of Xander Bogart's. Stay tuned to that. We're all over the hot zone. Trace on the 0 1 pitch. Did you? Grand slam, Trace Thompson. Even though it's the first inning, a clutch situation for Trace Thompson, and he delivers. 5 nothing Dodgers. Thompson hits it high, hits it hard, deep to left center. Thompson's left the yard again. A tray for Trace Thompson and a seven-run lead. No way. No way! Trace Thompson, stop it! What a night for Trace Thompson. He has knocked in eight. For the third time, Trace Thompson goes deep, 440 feet. Three years that he didn't play in the big leagues probably seems a long way away right now. Stanton, high drive, into left center field. There it goes! See ya! A monster shot by Giancarlo Stanton. A two-run blast. And the Yankees lead 3-0. And another look. It looks like another hanging slider. And no doubt about this one for Stanton. Wow. One-two from Senga. And the bat goes flying. Guriel strikes out. And Senga has a strikeout for his first out in the major leagues. And Sanchez goes down swinging. 3-2 coming. And he got him. Eight strikeouts for Kodai Senga. 89 pitches over five and a third in his big league debut and a roaring success. Gave up a run in the first. Nothing more after that. Eight strikeouts over five and a third. Kodai Senga, welcome to the big leagues. Two and one. Hit well left center field. Robert on the run into the alley sliding try Robert. Oh my goodness. Luis Robert Jr. somehow got to that ball to make an absolutely ridiculous catch. He drives one in the air. This is deep to left center. Brown goes back for it. That ball is gone. Logan O'Hoppy drills a three run homer and the Angels take the lead with two outs in the fourth. The rookie catcher delivers a blast. The first career home run for Ohapi. And what a series giving him now six RBI. There's oh. the drive. Straight away center. Way back. Home run number one in 2023 for Mike Trout. It's 5 nothing Angels in the fifth. 5 nothing lead. Here's Otani with the drive. Right center field. Oh. How far will this one go? Shohei Otani with a blast. It's back to back for Trout and Otani. They have each hit their first home run. It is six to nothing. Wow, Shohei's around the bases already. I'm gonna change my key to the game. Long distance runaround. Tommy Hunter deals again to right and deep. Get up! Make an impact, young man. Challenge me with a 3 0 fastball. That ball's well hit. Robert back in the alley in right center field. Does he have room? The answer is yes, of course. 
What a play by Luis Robert Jr. again. I'm not sure exactly how he works at it, but we've seen two plays at the wall in two different series. High fly ball, right field, Castellanos back, on the track, at the wall, see ya, home run Torres, 3-0 Yanks. And that's a significant home run for Torres, his 100th career home run. Oh, here we go, high drive, that one up there to left field, that one's back there, she's gone. Yoshida with a two-run blast, and in a blink of an eye, the Red Sox tie the ball game. Number one for Masa Yoshida. And that baby took off. Payoff pitch, this one to left center. That ball is long gone. A mess job off the bat of Austin Riley. One nothing Atlanta. Holy <laughs> God. 473 feet. Are you kidding me? You don't see many balls go where that ball is just hit. The scores on his back, it's four to four. You just don't get tired of seeing it. How can you? That is career home run number 100 for Jordan. Lifts one deep center field. McCormick chasing it, still going back. That ball is off the wall, no, it's over the wall. A two run bomb for Matt Veerling. Powers it up to straightaway center field and the Tigers have a two run lead in the 11th in Houston. Fly ball to left center field indeed. Thomas going back at the wall. It's gone! David Dahl pitch hit home run ties the score at four. There cannot be a better feeling that David Dahl is experiencing right now coming off the bench. Kim to left. Back goes Carroll. That's the ball game. Hassan Kim walks it off. Padres go back to back in the ninth. Win it five to four. They'll wait for him at the plate. It's time to celebrate. Hanging slider speeds up his bat. Bloop and a blast, my eye. How about a blast and a blast? In the air along the line in right. Long way to go for Jake. Foul ground and he's got it. And he's up and over the wall. Jake McCarthy. How about wow. that? Jake McCarthy up and over. And he gets Dre Jameson out of a big jam. Leg out below. Ooh. Watch this. Jake, go get it. Hang on. Ground ball up the middle. Birdie's got it. Steps on the bag. Throws to first. A double play. It's a Marlins win. And the first complete game of the year for last year's Cy Young Award winner on pitch number 100. For Washington. And the first pitch, a shot back into deep left. That baby's going to get out of here. Home run on the first pitch. Luke Rayleigh, an opposite field home run. His third home run in this series. And on one pitch, the Rays have tied this game in the ninth inning. It's 6-6. With a run in the eighth, and now a run in the ninth. And here's a shot. High and deep to right off the bat of low, and that baby's out of here. Josh Lowe goes deep. Back-to-back -back home runs, and the Rays grab the lead in a dramatic manner. Rowdy to Lenz in the right center field. That's way back there. Goodbye. Number one for number 11. Pop those hips open. Anderson way back deep left center see you later Brian Anderson with his second home run in as many games and it comes on a two strike pitch collect the thoughts and now Garrett Mitchell sends it way back to right and back to back to back Mitchell with his first home run of the year the cheese wedge is getting a workout. Extreme wedge. First pitch to Kemp. Line drive right field, base hit. Here comes Noda. Here comes the throw to the plate, up the line, and the A's walk off the Guardians. Right fielder Teoscar Hernandez leading off the bottom of the fourth inning. Teoscar, a bolt to center. Trout watching. No!
Two on, one out for Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar, he wants another! This is happening to God, Teoscar Hernandez! Well, Teoscar having a ball tonight, and why not? His second homer in as many at bats. This one, 109. Fastball trying to go up and in. That's Dan Wilson. Oh! A little lasso behind the back from Luis Castillo to take one away. Two gone. Liner into left, headed back as a Rosarena reaching up and making the catch. Randy Rosarena angling back and to his left, made the grab, got a standing ovation from the Rays' bullpen. Breaking ball, hammered down the line. A J bomb! Jordan Walker's first big league homer. His first big league homer in his new hometown against his old hometown team. How sweet was that? Mitchell, deep right. Forget about it. Garrett Mitchell, he wins it for the Brewers. Two homers last night and one this afternoon. Garrett Mitchell. On a breaking pitch, knocks it on out of here, and no doubt to right. There's something special they've got going right now. This is start one of what we hope will be a long and fruitful big league career for Grayson, and he gets to do it in his home state. Grayson Rodriguez, and in his big league debut, he gets a very good Texas lineup. Looking for the first strikeout. And he's got it. Grayson Rodriguez. Swing and a miss by Seeger. Strike three, and Rodriguez has a one, two, three inning. Colas at first, two and two. Second base side, that's through, base hit. Oscar wants third. Conforto's up with it, and it's first and third for the Sox. There is hit number 2,000 for Elvis Andrews. Congratulations. See, I told you, all I had to do was mention it once, and <laughs> there it is. Lou Merloni, 0 2. And a high pop up to right, that should do it. Verdugo coming in, makes the catch, and the Red Sox win it. Six to three, the final score. Two hours and 32 minutes. Line drive, base hit! And he's coming around! He's safe! And the Braves walk it off in the opener! How's that game for you? Two on, one out, and the 1-1. One, one. Line drive, base hit, right field! Buxton scores. Larnick to second. Miranda fired up at first, as is the dugout. It's a 2 2 game. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit center field. Larnick scores. Twins win. Twins win. An opening day. Minnesota Twins walk off win. Great to be back in downtown Minneapolis. And Farmer delivers. Ladies and gentlemen. Please join me in welcoming home number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. What a moment. There's a ground ball. Base hit in the right field for number 22. Of course. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Will Crow pining for the old three inning save. This belted to center field. Bay is back at the track, and Oscar Colas goes deep for the first time in his major league career and he is amped around the bases. Well, we've been telling you that for this lineup he's ideal because he can give you some big left hand power. Ground Had ball, a baby. base it to right field. One run is in, Bones going to third. And he'll get there standing. RBI pinch hit single for Brandon Marsh. Backup slider or something, but Marsh stays on it. Fly ball center field. That's going to be deep enough. 
Friedel Watch is Marsh. under it. Watch Marsh. Bond tags coming home from third. The throw goes to second. It's a 2 2 game. Shortened up. And the 3 2 pitch. Ground ball yeah. outside. That'll leak into right Come field. On. Base it. Marsh is around third. Heading home. Myers bobbles it. The Phils will win it. They come from behind, down 2 nothing here in the ninth. They score three runs and walk it off. He's the man in town. Swing, high fly ball. That's hammered deep to left. Did Arenado do it? Yes, he did. Number 300 in Milwaukee. Well, you knew it was a matter of time. He was going to get it. Number 300. What a moment for, uh, for Nolan. Wow. Weimer into right. Back, Walker. It's over his head. Kicks it around a little, and Weimer stops at second. That was a bullet. And they just love the opposite field approach for this guy. You've seen it. Chopped. Runner breaks for the plate, and he's going to be out. And oh, Cruz no. looks like he's hurt. Yeah, he went in awkwardly. Hopefully, nothing serious. Oh, that does not look good. He did not, uh, yeah, he went in awkwardly. And now Santana took exception to it, and benches are going to empty. Carlos Santana took exception and was joining, I believe, with Savala. And there was some pushing and shoving going on. Meanwhile, they're trying to tend to Cruz as the bullpen's also empty. Carlos Santana still wants to get at somebody. O'Neill Cruz still down as the scrum. Johan Oviedo is involved. Gavin Sheets. Look at this. They're trying to keep the players away from the man who's down, O'Neill Cruz. Now more yelling. Andy Haynes says to get away. Trying to assist Cruz off. And help O'Neill Cruz off. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh yeah, that's um, man. Boy, oh boy. Right field, deep. Hernandez back at the wall. Can't make the play. That'll tie the ball game. Will Brennan with a two-out, two-run double. Now those people in the shade feel much better. What a clutch hit by Brennan. Left oh field, boy. down the line, fair ball, that'll get a run home. Naylor can walk home, he'll score. And the tying run in scoring position, Andres Jimenez just continues to hit. Bouncing ball, it's through in the right field, and we've got a tie game thanks to Will Brennan once again. Right man in the right spot, and I'll tell you what, that's a heck of an at-bat down 0-2. He came back in and he finds it. <laughs> Ground ball to first. The only play is at first. We are tied again. And the winning run is at third base. Josh, slow chopper to second. Here comes the throw to the plate. He is safe, and the Guardians walk it off. And what did they waved it off? No challenge. It's official. The Guardians win it in 12 innings, 7 to 6. And Derek Law's first pitch is hit to center field. Friedel back. Still good. Sean Murphy, his first homer is in Atlanta Brave, and it's a walk-off game winner. Wow. First pitch jumps on it. Two doubles, a walk-off, two-run bomb. What a night for him. Thompson gets out of the mess. Nico delivers. First nine outs of the game, all by strikeout for Heaney. And he's ahead one and two. One more ties the American League record. The one two. Strike three, he got him. And Andrew Heaney has just tied an American League record for a consecutive strikeout. Choi toward the seats. G Man Choi is homered again. He's heating up. And the Pirates claim their first lead tonight. 418 feet. He blasted that ball. Yeah, G-Man beat him to the spot with this ball right here on the inner half. Almost a similar spot to where Jackson Whiskey's ball went out. Over the entire stands in right field. The 2-2. Out to right. G-1 Bay. Hovers to win it. Look 
get that, baby. The Young Bucks dethrone the champs today. What a thrilling finish. I saw a rise on that batting average leaderboard because he's been putting the ball in play and getting himself some hits as he does right here. A one hop off the wall in right center. That'll be a two out double for a rise. A rise will have himself extra bases into the corner. Now this will be uh, maybe even three. Gotten to that perfect spot in the third base with a triple. In the air, deep left field, going way back, and that's gone. A home run of the opposite field for Luis Arise. What a night! His third extra base hit. Who said he's not a home run hitter? <laughs> Pitch clock down to one, and that is going to get down a base hit. The first cycle in Marlins franchise history. Luis Arise. As Kerry Carpenter hits one to center field, backpedaling Kiermeyer jumps, and he's got it. He took a home run away in the very first game. Season. He's going to have no trouble being popular here, but you can't make this up. Unbelievable. Albies to right field. Albies has left the building, and we are tied. Career homer number 100 for Ozzy Albies. Congrats, Ozzy. 100 homers, and look where this pitch is. It's all location. We talked about his first day be him getting a strike, something in the zone. Answer for the Twins here. As he swings and launches high and deep to left center field. Back it goes and gone. Career home run number 100 for the Twins All-Star, Byron Buxton. And that ties the game at two. Right on cue. They will bunt. Taylor lays it down. Castro to third and the throw gets away. Castro scores. And the Twins walk it off again. No such thing as a bad win. You'll take it any way you can get it. Unexpected finish. Good teams find a way to win. The Twins did that tonight. Taylor got a perfect butt down. Castro scores, and the Twins have their second walk-off win. Here's a 2 0 And that ball hit it in the air. Deep out to right. It is gone! Jonah Heim with a game-winning homer. Wow. I'll tell you what, this swing is uh, so short, so compact, yet so powerful. Jonah Heim delivers in a big spot right here with a three-run home run to walk it off. Enjoy it, young man. Well, what a night. The Rangers have won the series by taking game two tonight. 8-5, the final score. And oh, there's another one. one. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Up on the concourse for C.J. Crow. Five to Colorado. That ball was absolutely crushed. Kelnick straight away center field. Let's make it three in a row for Kelnick. Wow. It is gone. Home run. Upper deck bleacher center field. Where few have gone before. That was unreal. Broken bat. Get through, baby. It will. Walker is aboard. 12 in a row. And you got to go back to 1912 for a rookie to do what Jordan Walker just did. The streak is alive and well. Catches it just off the end of the bat. It's a slider from Seabold. It just sneaks through. It's Taj Bradley, Bradley, the Rays' number one prospect, grew up in Stone Mountain, Georgia. He was the Rays' fifth round pick at 17 years old. Swing and miss. He gets the strikeout. Well, that's going to take care of you, Chang. Now on strikes, that's number eight for yeah, Bradley. Because you're right, Dwayne. That's one of the options that you do have. That curveball has played a much bigger role here tonight than I was expecting. He lifts one to deep right center. This should be deep enough. Veerling the catch. Here comes Chapman, and the game is tied. 
the middle and through. That's a base hit, and that's your ball game. And that ball is belted. Right center field. Adley Rutschman sends us home with a walk-off homer. Is this guy any good or what? Well, he wasted no time, I can tell you that. But nobody's going to remember the 0 for 4. They're going to remember that bomb out to right center field, his fourth home run of the year. Rutschman's first career walk-off RBI. There's a fly ball. Center field. Margot's got it, and the Rays have won 13th straight to begin the new season. They have matched the 87 Milwaukee Brewers and the 82 Atlanta Braves since 1900. The only three teams to open the season with a record of 13 at all. A high fly to right field, deep to the wall. His first major league hit will be a single played well by Calhoun in right field. But Eddie Julian figures to pick up many more hits. That's his first big league hit. Yeah, he got a pitch up that he can handle and. Deep to the left field corner and chased by Cordero in the corner. That ball's gone. Julian to the opposite field, and it is eight to nothing. What a start for the Minnesota Twins. It's a great piece of hitting by Eddie Julian from lefty. That's a pretty good, it's a pretty good approach. To right field and deep. Correa goes to the opposite field. Back to back to back home runs. For the Twins in the Bronx. Correa's first of the year. And the winning run in scoring position here. This one is driven to right. Way back there. It is gone! Nick Maton walks it off. Twins scored nine runs in the first. That one's driven deep to left field. Going back Castro. Track. Wall. See ya. First home run in the big leagues. Anthony Volpe gives the Yankees a 1-0 lead. Well, you can only hold that emotion in so long. You're running around those bases, you're like flying. You'll never forget your first hit and now your first home run with your Anthony Volpe. Austin Riley hits it to left. Folks, that's what you call back to back. And the Braves are out in front three to nothing. And for Austin Riley, career homer number 100. Fielder number 24, Cody Ballinger. It's Cody Ballinger. Fans have already given him a really nice reception. A welcome back video played on the board. Cody got a chance to watch it. <laughs> All right, we got ball one. Wow, no strike one. Strike Excuse one, me. yeah. So he gets a he gets a violation. Fly ball center field. Going back. Going back. Stay hot. He says, you got it. And he is. Fourth home run, RBI six and seven. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Up the middle. Cabrera wins it. On a day we celebrate one icon in Jackie Robinson, a Tigers icon walks it off. And the batter is Grandall. And he hits a slicer. Left field. That ball's going to get down. Tied and Brandall's got a double, and he will. And that'll be over. Santander's head. What a win for the White Sox! Seven, six, and ten. Well, this one had all the thrills and chills you could have wanted in a baseball game, and it ends a perfect way. Three, two, swinging a fly ball deep left field. 
Carlson back, and there it goes! Andrew McCutcheon on Jackie Robinson Day hits a go-ahead home run in the 10th. How beautiful is that? Couldn't have planned it any better. Couldn't have him to a better pirate right now again. And the hat tip, he does because of Jackie Robinson. Fulmer deals. Peralta grounds one through. Tying run is in. Winning run comes home. The throw is late. Dodgers win. David Peralta, tonight's hero. And here's Correa. High fly ball, right center. Going back is Judge. Cabrera is there as well. Makes the play. A complete game shutout for Garrett Cole. A brilliant performance on this Sunday afternoon in the Bronx. Oh, you look at that last time out. 2021 a shutout. But Garrett Cole was phenomenal today. Oh, ripped down the right field line by Schwarber. That's a fair ball. It kicks around the corner. It stops on the post. Myers can't get it. Turner's going to score. RBI double for Schwarber. 9 0 Phillies. Swing, drive, hammer down the right field line. That ball is down. It's going to bounce over the fence. That'll be a ground rule double. Gorman with an ambush has tied this game at four. Ground ball, Cardinals win it on the first pitch. Well, it's mayhem out there now. And Pete gets one in the air to deep center field. Ruiz watches it go, and this game is tied. A monstrous home run from Pete Alonso. Alonso's eighth of the year. He hit it out of sight to center field, and it's 3-3 in the ninth. And a little looper into center field. Nemo on the run, diving, and he makes the catch! Throw back to second, and Kemp gets back safely, but Brandon Nemo saves the game. And it gets away, and here comes Escobar to score. Marte will have to stop at third as the ball goes into the dugout. It's ball four to Lindor. He's at first, but the run comes home on the wild pitch, and the Mets take the lead, four to three. Yoshida strikes out on a high heater from Otani as Shohei wins round one against his former Japanese teammate. It's 4-1 Angels after an inning. Now Zach Neto leads off the second against Bale. There's a line drive toward left, and there's the first major league hit for Zach Neto. It was a hard smash in the left field. It breaks an 0-9 for 9 to start his big league career, and a well-earned baseball headed toward the Angels' dugout. Because pitch number nine. Fly ball right field. Gonzalez tracking it. Are you kidding me? He's done it! He walks it off! Carrie Carpenter sends the Tigers fans home happy, burning Karen Check in a nine-pitch battle. In the last three days, the Tigers offense have been magical. And what a magical moment here for Carrie Carpenter to walk off. All right, well, here's Bryson Stott. Stott is hitting 16 straight games. Two balls, two strikes. And that one's back toward the middle. There's the record. Bryson Stott has just established a Phillies record for base hits in consecutive games to start a season. It's up to 17. The looper. That'll find a home. Here comes one run. Here comes Kike. He scores. Two runs home. Stands in a foul ball. Actually, a fair ball. It's fair. It's off the wall, and the Red Sox are going to win the game. <laughs> it just kept sailing down that line. The Red Sox win it on a walk-off. Rocco Baldelli's. I think he's asked Keith to take a look at this. This one was weird. It's almost the reaction of everybody it felt like this was going to hook into the stands. And he unloads high in the air toward left. Long run for Guriel. Track wall and gone above the bullpen. That was worth the wait. Wilson Contreras with his first home run as a member of the St. Louis Cardinals and the first of many to come. He gets a changeup. Driven toward right. 
That's well hit. That's near the pole. That ball is gone. Have a day, Wilson Contreras, his second of the day, second of the season, a 92-mile-an-hour sinker from Andrew Chafin. Thought it was ball four, got another chance on a 3-1 hack and took advantage. And So much accomplished already in his Major League career, his Hall of Fame career. And tonight, he has a chance to earn his 200th Major League win. Mm. Or Uncle Charlie. <laughs> Another strikeout for Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw with his ninth of the night. And a roar to end his evening. So now Conforto, his second at bat of the day, he drives one to deep right center field. That one well hit. Chisholm back at the wall. It is gone! The swing that the Giants have been waiting for. Michael Conforto. A two-run homer in the 11th, it's 3-1. to one. And a swing and a drive, hit well to left, and turning is Benintendi, and there it goes! The first Phillies home run for Trey Turner at long last. And Turner with the home run to straightaway left, and the Phillies take the 1-0 lead. You and I were just kind of talking about his drought. Yesterday, such a tough day for him. He got on base one time, just couldn't get it going today. Finally, the home run. You hope that he gets streaky that way. The umpires did another check of Max Scherzer, and after a heated discussion, Scherzer has been ejected from the game, presumably for having a spit sticky substance on his hand. The crew chief, Dan Bellino, did the ejecting, and now Buck Showalter in conversation with Bellino as Scherzer has been ejected from the game. So he had his glove switched earlier, and they're looking at the second glove, and they were looking at his pitching hand as well. Did Max go back to the old glove um, and try to take whatever substance was on it or on his hand off the glove? High fly ball, deep center, going back Judd, still back on the track at the wall. He leaps! And he makes the play! He took away a home run and made the play! Well, Michael, you can't make this up. This is star power right here. Otani goes dead center field. Aaron Judge says, nope. I get all six, seven to me up. Oh! That should get the job done. Drifting back is Trout. He'll make the catch. Tagging is IKF. He'll score on the sack fly. And the Yankees win 3-2. to two. Well, Glaber needed something good to happen after 1 for 21, and he just did it. Swing and a high deep drive. Oh, he crushed this one right to the back row. KK with his third home run of the season. Put a swing on that baby. That makes it 10 to 3. Well, that's good to see, even though the 10 to 2 ball game. After a while, you start to feel better against these sweepers. They've seen an awful lot of them here in the last week or so, some of these guys. And Ryan's got a good one, but he hung this one to KK. Altman puts a charge into one to right field. James Altman did you! Grand slam, and the Dodgers up 6-2 in the ninth. And with that, Michael Fulmer's night is done, but we're not yet at Wrigley Field. All of a sudden, a four-run lead for L.A. Defensively in the seventh. Little dribbler, third base side, tough play. Oh, oh, don't you dare. oh no. Come on. That can't be how it ends. Wow. Got to be a hit, and that is just so unfortunate. Oh. Well, right in the sense of urgency, both guys want the ball, want to make the play so badly. Oh. Drew Smiley, that's all he can do. Swing going to miss. Smiley able to get Outman. There's two away. Here comes David Ross, and listen to this place as he hands the ball over to Drew Smiley. What an effort for the left hand there from Arkansas. Drew Smiley almost all comes here today. Smiley sensational. And his afternoon is over after seven and two thirds, one hit shutout innings. And a high fly ball deep to right. Bowler should go back. And that ball is in play or gone. It's in play is the initial call. 
That ball came close to going out, close to maybe fan interference. That's what the uh, White Sox are claiming, that the ball was in play, and the umpires are going to talk it over. The call is confirmed it is a home run. That's a home run. Yeah, there you go. And there it goes! High and deep to right! That baby is gone! And the Rays win it! A walk-off! Brandon Lau walks this one off with his sixth home run of the year. Bethancourt opened the ninth with a home run. Diaz single, Bruhan ran for him, and on 3-2, Chopper to the right side. Torkelson coming home. Throw is offline, and the Orioles win it on a walk-off. The throw was wide. Mountcastle slides in safely, and it's the second walk-off for the Orioles this year. So for back-to-back -back games at home. Alvarez driven right center field and deep and gone. Alvarez, take that hit probability. That's a two-run blast and a 6-4 Astros lead. That one's hit to left. Jankowski back, and that baby is gone. Well, that lit up the dugout. Yes, it looked it like did. a slider that just kind of stayed up. How about that? First career home run, and it gives the A's the lead in the top of the ninth inning. The 29-year-old left-hander Joey Lucasu trying to present a low target. And Ramos strikes out on the curve. Struck him out. Jeez. Got him looking. Joey Lucchese strikes out the side in the seventh inning. Base hit. That'll do it. Yankees walk it off. A pinch hit RBI single for DJ LeMahieu. And the Yankees win 3-2. to two. Now a Rosarena. He wants it to right field. That's down for a hit. High bounce. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's not in time. And the Tampa Bay Rays have walked it off once again. Still unbeaten at home this year. They're 18 and 3. 18 and 3. Whoa, Garcia gets into one. That's going to go a long way. Gone! Two-run armor for Adolis Garcia. And he's erased the deficit quickly. It's a tie game. Right behind the museum. So the museum is essentially connected to it. Another deep blast and another home run by Garcia. A two-run shot. Rangers pouring it on here in the third inning. And he hits this ball well. Jeez. Deep out to left field. Doesn't have enough. Third of the night. Garcia has six RBIs and has scored a career best four runs tonight. It's 13 to 2. I suppose they'll try and hit him again, do you? Fly ball, deep left field. Back goes Guriel Jr. at the wall. He leaps. That ball is gone. Fernando Tatis Jr. Oh, Nando has gone yard for the first time in 2023. Padres jump out to a one nothing lead. He's back, and he's back big. Sure, it was hit high. And it kicks away. Bleacher will score. A walk-off wild one. Six straight for the Orioles. Three walk-off wins in the last four home games. On a slider, first time he faced him since the World Series. There's a ball in the right field. That's going to tie the game. Two runs will score. Jordan Alvarez comes through again. We're tied at two. There's a ball up the middle. Base hit for Jokes. Tucker's going to score. To third goes Hensley. Corey Jokes has done it again. 3-2 Astros in the ninth. Their first lead of the game. That ball is looped into left field. That'll be down for a hit. Hensley scores. Here comes Jones. He will be safe with the head first slide. It is 5-2 Astros. Breggy drives in two. And he shoots one high and deep to right. And gone. Home run for Luke Rayleigh. Rayleigh wasting no time. Jumps on the first pitch. His fourth home run of the year. And Dwayne, how about this?
The Rays have homered in the first or second inning of every game. They've just taken the drama out of it. And now they're setting a new mark. How about that? There's a swing and a ladder to right field. That one's now struck, and that ball is gone. It's a home run. He hit it out back to back on the Red Sox. And the Red Sox are on top, five to four. Masa Yoshida with home run number two. And the 0 2. Swing and a high fly ball. That one's deep, way back, and it is gone. Into the second level. A grand slam. The Red Sox blow it wide open. Yoshida right in the thick of it as he touches home plate. A grand slam here in Milwaukee. What an inning for him. You see him crossing home plate going. Wow. Wow, that's right, Massa. Slow start to the season for him. I'd say he's back. Strome with a payoff pitch to Freeman. In there, got him looking, and career strikeout number 1,000 for Marcus Stroman. There he goes, the announcement goes up on the big board. Fans applaud, and Marcus responds. Ray's trying to win their 14th consecutive game at home. And the comebacker, and that's going to do it. Diaz right back to Beeks, and Beeks, ironically, to Diaz to end it. Three ground ball out to the ninth inning, and the Rays win this one, eight to three. Their home winning streak stands at 14, 14 games at home to begin the season. Payoff to right center. Reds win. center field. Robert Jr. back at the wall. He leaps. Oh, he brought it back. How did he do it? Luis Robert Jr. somehow absolutely thieves one from Chapman. Oh, my Lord. Go ahead and put it on the highlight reel, folks. This is one of the best plays of the year, I can promise. Got him. 13. A baker's dozen for Spencer Strider, who was absolutely Sensational tonight. Here's Rooker, first pitch swinging, and Rooker loops this one down the left field line, and that one is gone. A home run on a line to left. Julie franchise. The 1 2. In the air to left. That's pretty well hit. Going back is Ward. Ward leaping up, and that one is gone. A home run. Back to back homers. And Rooker. Hits this one hard to left. On the run is Ward. If it is fair, it is gone, and it is a home run. In fact, they get outscored in a big way in the first three innings of games, but not tonight as Aguilar sends this one to center. Trout at the track, Trout at the wall, and it is gone. The second of the night for Aguilar. Langoliers, it's a high fly, pretty deep to left. Ward is all the way back at the wall. He made the catch! Taylor Ward! He robbed a grand slam! Right on him against that short wall in left field. Taylor Ward brought it back! Got him, and that's the ball game. And there's no better way to end it on a strikeout. Alex Cobb was masterful. He only walks one and he strikes out four. He lets the defense work behind him, and the defense played very well. Swings and hits a ground ball up the middle. The first major league hit for Bush is going to result in a run as Outman comes around third and scores. It's an RBI single for Michael Bush. It is now seven to four. And the family of Michael Bush, the friends, all the people that got him here. The payoff. Swinging a fly ball to left. Going back is Sawinski to the wall and leaps up and he made the catch. He just robbed Mookie Betts of a three run homer. Jack Sawinski over the wall to rob Mookie. Listen to this ovation as Sawinski returns to the dugout. Hard comebacker off the pitcher. 
Fairchild breaks. He scores. No play. Infield hit on the comebacker. Ramos at RBI. Fairchild in. 6-2. Over short. That's down base hit. Wave on to third. Jankowski from left. Throw to the plate. No. Safe slide. Stevenson. RBI knock on a three hit night for Nick Senzel. Runners go. Chip down the left field line. That falls fair. Ramos scores. Senzel scores. Barrero to third. And Fraley to second standing. A four spot in the inning. It's a one run game. Indiana center field. Barrero scores. Fraley to the plate. Tavares is thrown. Caught. Fraley slides safe. Reds lead. Jonathan India wants to be that guy, and he is that guy. He brings that tenacity to the ballpark. 16 big league seasons. And this is Guriel to left. Long way back and off the wall. Rosario bangs into the wall. Slow to get up. Guriel's on his way to third. And he is going to come around. All the way around to score. And inside the park home run for Yuli Guriel. And it was Pilar who smashed into the wall. Man, Pilar, man, ran into that wall like... Back to Duran. And for the first time since 2001, Minnesota Twins have won the season series with the New York Yankees. And deservedly so. They've just outplayed them in, in four of the six games that they've played so far. No reason not to come back tomorrow and just really, really take it to them. Get out into right center field and nobody's there. Here comes Peterson. He's going to score. And the tying run is at second base. High drive. Center field. It is on over. And this game is over. Down the count, one, two. And there's a hanger right at the belt. And Sable flips the bat, looks into the Cardinals' locker. That gives the gorilla cheer, and why not? First big league walk-off, and watch the reaction in the Giants' dugout. What do you know? Walk it off, Rook. What a moment for this guy. The one-two. And did he get him? Yes, he did. Steer couldn't stop himself, and that is strikeout number 1,000 for John Gray, and it gets him out of the inning. This will be a tough day for Graham Ashcraft to pitch emotionally. On Monday, his grandmother passed away in Texas, one month shy of her 83rd birthday. Teresa Ann Ashcraft was a big Rangers fan in Fort Worth, Texas, but converted to a Reds fan after Graham was drafted by the Reds. Graham decided to stay and pitch today and then fly out to be with his family after the game because that's what Grandma would have wanted him to do. Three pitch K. Movement on it. Pitch. Miller, weak tapper, back to the mound. Ashcraft has it, and he will run and tag out Miller on his way to the bag for the final out. So he does just that. Graham Ashcraft gets through six, allows just the two runs, and we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Moments ago, these emotional embraces for Graham Ashcraft. Pitching with a heavy heart, I'm assuming he's done, and let it all out, big fella. Let it all out. And the special bond with his pitching coach, Derek Johnson. Sets. Sends out to left. The Reds' longest power drought in three decades concludes in the most dramatic of fashions. The first walk-off bomb for the Reds since Nick Castellanos. Swing nice and a miss. Up. He struck him out. Boy, that was nasty after 97-mile-an-hour fastballs, Rick. That 85-mile-an-hour changeup twice today. And he went too far he without sure a did. doubt. Yes, he did. See ya. That's strikeout number eight. Swing and a miss. Zach Gallen with a season high dozen strikeouts. He has set down 12 in a row. Introducing Drew Maggi. Number 39, Drew Maggi will pinch hit for Andrew McCutcheon, making his major league debut. Almost 4,500 plate appearances in the minor leagues before number one.
tonight. Maggi strikes out. He's a big leaguer forever. Really unusual for a major leaguer. How about oh, this? There it is. 20 game hitting streak for Mauricio Dubon. For a single in the fifth inning in a 1 0 game, the bench reacts incredibly. <laughs> they love Dubon. One and one with two aboard. That's to right field. Acuna Jr. going back, and it's over his head. Bangs off the wall. One run's going to score. They will hold Segura at third base. 0 oh, 1. Runner goes from first. That one line. Base hit into left field. Guriel's going to head to third. Segura scores on the RBI pinch hit single for Avi Garcia, and the Marlins are within two. 1 0 -oh pitch. Jazz. That is going to get down. Cut off by Acuna Jr. Birdie's going to get to third. Marlins are down 4 3. Quite a distance away from home plate. And Garrett Cooper, right center, gets down and going to get to the wall. Two runs are in, and the Marlins take the lead in the ninth. A wonderful comeback here in the ninth inning by the Marlins. Uh, Garrett Cooper, two RBI double, has given the Marlins a 5 4 lead after being held silent all day. Cooper does this. Coming. Ground ball up the middle. Pass. Swanson and into center field. Segura wins it. And a Marlins walk-off win. His stock is through the roof on the Marlins' first walk-off win of the year. And there's a high shot. Deep to left. All the way back. And Paredes has hit it out. Home run on a 1-0 pitch. Paredes, third hit of the night, his fourth home run of the year, and the Rays lead 3-2. to two. To right, Castellanos to the wall. And he's gone. Is it? Or did he get it? I'd be gone in his glove. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> he deked us. He deked me. And then the eyes widened, and he brought it back in. Wow. 1-1 one, one after one. There he in is. the center field, Drew Maggi officially goes into the record books as having a major league hit and a major league RBI. 13 years of totaling in the minor leagues. There's the ball. 13 years in the minors and 13 runs on the board for the Pirates. Line drive. Big hit came up with a huge hit for his team, and the Blue Jays win it one to nothing in ten. Valdez, the ghost runner, the Royal, the batter. He has two knocks today. Ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. Valdez rounding, and Straw won't throw it, and the Red Sox have tied the game. Christian Arroyo with a three-hit day, and now evening has made it seven-seven. Chance to win it, and a base hit into left field. Here comes the run, and the Red Sox win it. They win it in 10. Verdugo strikes again. He drives in Christian Arroyo, and the Red Sox win it 8-7. to seven. So Crawford this time goes to left center field. Wow! No doubt about that one, Crawford. Take that replay. Well, Lamont Way might have matched him. My goodness. Way up there and gone. For the Giants. Wow, 3 1 count leverage. Center field, and Ustremski going back, looking up, and that's gone. Juan Soto hits his fifth home run of the year. Padres back within two. It's now 8 to 6. This is driven a deep left center field, back by the wall. It's gone. Xander Bogart to the sixth home run of the year. The Padres have gone back to back in the fourth. Soto then Bogart. Balls flying in Mexico City. Fly ball, right field. Back goes Conforto. That ball is gone. Man, oh man, oh man, he is in Mexico City. It's a two-run shot. Puts the Padres back on top. 
Many second round tripper of the ball game. This is incredible. This is one of the most amazing things we've witnessed. That ball is hit hard down the left field line. Bowers on the run. And he makes the play. Oh my, what an introduction for Jake Bowers for the final out of the first. And now you just have to hope he's okay after a sensational catch, full speed. The complete game by the starter. Lifted, left field. Thompson is there, and how about that? Nathan Avaldi with a shot out of the Yankees. And the Rangers win it 2-0. Now a shot off the bat of Josh Lowe. That ball is going to get out. Is it? It's over that line and into the seats. Back to back home runs. Josh Lowe has hit one. And that will make it a 10 3 ball game. Another one. It's a rocket to right field. Cal Raleigh with a As he continues to leave scorched earth behind him in Toronto. Two and two. Berger in the air, right field side toward the line. It goes fair. Rolling into foul ground. Berger has got a hit. The Sox have a run. It's a double for Jake. In the air, left field. Randy Arozarena makes the grab. Rondal tags. He comes home. It is nine to seven on the sack fly from Colas. Elvis, right field, base hit. The Sox are still alive. Berger scores. It is nine to eight. Suddenly, line over second into center. This game keeps on going. We're tied at nine. Somehow, some way. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. When it lands, the streak is over. Outrageous way to end it. What a ball game this turned out to be. And Andrew Vaughn with a towering drive wins it. 12 to 9. And that's going to win it for the A's. Ruiz flips his bat as he drops it into left center field. So that's a walk off hit for a Stuart Ruiz and the A's will celebrate around second base as that hit wins the game and breaks the A's five game losing streak and after what happened yesterday to right and that's it for a base hit Soto being waved around here comes the throw it is going to be cut off and the Padres tie the game. Carpenter hits a fly ball to center field. Shallow coming in is Jastrzemski. He dives, can't get it. Bogarts is going to score. Carter is going to score. And the Padres are going to take a 6-4 lead in Mexico. Matt Carpenter with one heck of an A-B. Fighting off 103-104. And he bloops one to center to drive in two.